Ooh, welcome everyone to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Magdalena Conway, and she play will be playing Trish in the upcoming film Trip. Is it pronounced Trip Tripidity? Tripidity, yeah. Tripidity, okay. <laughs> I got that wrong when I had on um who was it? I had somebody else I had on your show a while ago. I'm drawing a, name, a blank on the name and uh couldn't pronounce the name as well, but uh I can't wait to see this movie. It sounds really yeah. cool. Oh my God, it's so much different. And for those watching this, I'm not in my normal office studio. I'm visiting my folks. Uh, I'm going back tomorrow and uh, you might see my mom walking back and forth. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> or her friend. Um, but uh, I am uh, in their kitchen right now. So, uh, but I'm so glad to have you on. I know we were scheduled for last night, but uh, yes. you know, things got changed. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Have that good old tornado warning. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But so glad we were able to do it and, you know, make this happen. Um, yeah, me too. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Of course. So the first question I got for you is more of a generic based question. It's how did you get your start in acting? Oh, yeah. So mine's, um, I think, a little different than most. Um, <laughs> I my start was actually ballet when I was okay. three years old. OK. Um, and I did Nutcracker every year. And then the, um, dance company I danced through had spring shows every year okay. that I was a part of every year. And I always liked the acting aspect of ballet, um, especially Nutcracker when I got to be like a mouse <laughs> or a soldier during the battle scene. Right. Like those are like my absolute favorite things to do in ballet were like the character roles mm -hmm. and stuff. And so I quit ballet when I was 13 and started doing more theater on mm -hmm. stage, musical theater, plays, all that. And then I decided that I wanted to go to school for acting and transitioned more into film work. And in like specifically indie horror is a lot of what I do now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize that indie horror, I mean, it's way different than Hollywood. I mean, you, you yeah. don't have to answer the producers. I mean, you don't have a higher budget as Hollywood would, but you have more creative freedom. And that's what I like about indie horror the best is because you have that creative freedom, whether you're a filmmaker or an actor, you're not answering to producers. You're not act, you know, answering to big name studios, which is yes. always, a, it's always a bonus. <laughs> yep. Um, so about trepidity um how did you happen to become a part of this and can you tell us what this movie is about yeah for sure um so i became a part of it because i've worked with steve before i met steve during the fall of 2020 when he was okay. casting his series morium which is based off mm -hmm. of another one of his books okay um then i worked with him on another one of his films called in the dark which a couple of the other girls in Trepidity were in as well. Um, and then from there, we all decided to do Trepidity because um, mm -hmm. Steve wanted to do something with a cast of only girls, which mm -hmm. I thought was super cool. Right. Um, so Trepidity itself is about this group of girls in the 80s. It's friends from a high school and mm -hmm. um, Beth's character, Beth Met Metcalf, um, Yep. Her character decides to take us all to this quote unquote party <laughs> barn um, out in the middle of nowhere and then tells us the story of what happened in that barn like in the 70s, so like a decade okay. before this. Um, and from there, things start to happen. Nice. Um, my character, Trish, is supposed to be like more the shy one because we all take okay. on um, sort of sort of like different character arcs that you see mm -hmm. in like 80s movies so okay. i'm like the shy one with glasses and all that <laughs> nice so i know uh it's hard because of spoiler you know reasons yeah but what can you tell us about trish what can we expect from her um i would say out of all the girls um she you definitely see quite a bit of development from her character because okay. um my character is actually the one who has the most to do with the mm -hmm. name of the film, Trepidity, because um, she's shy and trepid. Okay. Um, so um, you see quite a bit of growth yeah. there, I would say. But yeah, she, it goes into why she's so shy. She's not talkative like at all. Like the first okay. half of the film I remember, like when we were filming, I had like... 
<laughs> we would like do scenes. I'm like, well, I have one line, so you guys better <laughs> knock this out of the park. <laughs> nice, nice. So maybe we should, uh, and this is such a corny dad joke, but maybe we should call it Trish Pitity. <laughs> that would be that would be good right just create a yes. poster it's just my face <laughs> absolutely yeah i know i have uh steve coming on i believe in july if i'm not mistaken we were scheduled for may and i'm booked throughout june so uh and at the time when he had to postpone because he had something going on oh, and then mm-hmm. of course i had beth on and i know she had something come up uh, with her uh, schedule with i guess acting or something or dance yeah, um, yeah, yes. she she's got quite a few projects coming up. I've yep. noticed. Yeah, so uh, we Very I have busy. her on in September. I believe September first. I have her on to talk. Oh, about. cool! So that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, as well. by then we would have had our Chicago premiere. Nice, nice. So then oh. we'll be able to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, That'd hopefully. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, what do you think was the hardest part in bringing Trish to life? Um, I think the hardest part is I myself am not like super shy. Mm-hmm. I I do consider myself more introverted. I have my extroverted moments, but Trish has like no extroverted moments. <laughs> so it was like really hard to like reel in like any reactions I might have mm-hmm. to like what so, like different lines the other girls were saying that like I myself would react to and like mm-hmm respond to whereas Trish was she's like way more reserved than I am okay yeah and that that can be hard to play that character trait especially yeah when without like would, overdoing yeah. it you know with yeah. being like oh she's just so mousy yeah so without making regard- it annoying you know right absolutely so in regards to that um regarding being an actor um what do you believe is the most hard like the hardest or most challenging part of that Oh, um, I know the hardest for me is I've become really good at crying. (laughs) Um, but it's, it's like an emotional toll sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's sometimes hard to like take yourself out of like a certain headspace and then snap back into a different headspace for another scene. So especially with film, since things are filmed out of order, you yeah. can go from like a really funny scene and then next is like a really um, heavy scene where you have to cry. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely one of the harder things. Right. It's just like Absolutely. switching back and forth from different emotions Yeah. Um, and even like personalities. Um, yeah. Like I try and relate um, different aspects of myself to yeah. different characters I play mm-hmm. but sometimes characters aren't like me at all so um you have to get into like a totally different headspace yeah it really is and like you might be filming this like all your scenes this time might be you know near the end where it's all you know where it's all frightening or whatever yeah and then you're filming like next week the beginning scenes and you're like now I have to remember the scenes we already filmed I can't yeah act scared I don't know the- any of that yeah <laughs> right none of that well, I'm not yet. supposed to know that happened right and, and it does get confusing especially when you film out of, out of space now when you do the crying and everything do you take inspiration from your real life or what makes you cry um it really depends on the day um mm-hmm. Like if there's like a certain situation in my life that's like super heavy or like mm-hmm. I'm upset about, then it's super easy for me to cry. Yeah. But if I'm in like a really good mental <laughs> mental <laughs> health space at that moment, it's harder. Yeah. And I will say I, I do use a tear stick occasionally. Yeah. Um, that's just to like help my eyes water more. But like once mm-hmm. I get them watering it's usually fine yeah I, I know like I like the I know like when I'm on set we often like sometimes have drops or whatever if we need to have drops yeah um, I'll be you know crying that um I try to avoid that I try to make it as real as I can and yeah, my dad same. passed away almost a year ago from brain cancer so now ever since he passed away um I've been using that as my inspiration it just comes yeah mm-hmm. um but yeah been, I had uh, a very close yeah. friend pass away um mm in like august of 2020 so right. that's a big one for me for yeah. sure as well yeah kitty, kitty. <laughs> yes my kitty cat uh she's ma- basically black she has some uh, white oh i love oreo. black cats yeah we call her oreo she has white on her chest <laughs> <laughs> that's so buddy. cute she's my buddy she's being all nosy here but yeah um yeah and I, I know it's it is 
very grueling and to- it takes a toll on a person because a lot of people think oh they just cry they're not really upset they're not really sad yeah but well, it, it's you are really sad you're if you're taking that actually upset <laughs> right so i you would have say to that's take like that. the only thing i'm method on i don't like yeah. method acting personally mm-hmm. but that's the only thing i'll actually like yeah actually like cry for that's yeah the that, only thing i'll do for that's real. how i am too because i know that uh like a lot of people like they say it's it, it's not you're not really sad so you like if you're crying it doesn't it's not that much as you're just acting it's like yeah but i'm where do you think i'm i have to really cry where do you think i'm really crying from i'm i'm yeah. going through the dangerous like the scary the sad saddest part of my life to bring these real tears out. Yeah. i'm going through a lot right now emotionally mm-hmm. it, it really is and and that's the thing like you said you're not a method actor as well um so do you what kind of acting do you do like where do you take inspiration from to bring your characters into life or to get the character um i know beth has talked about this before so she might talk about it um in september but i like pulling from many different characters or people Mm -hmm. i know in real life to create a character um so for trish um Gosh, who did I, now like, that it's, like, so far, (laughs) like, now that, like, I've made her, like, my own, I forget who exactly I pulled inspiration from, from that Mm -hmm. one, um, but, like, picking, like, specific characters I know from Mm -hmm. other movies, yeah, um, a good example is my character in Morium, one of Steve's Mm -hmm. other projects, Tiffany, I pulled a lot of inspiration from Santana from Glee, okay um regina from mean girls and okay. and then like bullies i knew <laughs> in real life <laughs> and mush those like all together right to make like a fun character nice nice so is the indiegogo crowdfunding campaign is that still live yeah yeah i believe we're still doing that awesome um, awesome so plug it yeah so Oh gosh, we just changed the name of our Facebook group because now um, it's just going to be for all of Acro Stars um, okay. indie films because we have another film that we're going to film in September, I believe, called okay. It Comes From Somewhere. Nice. Uh, it's based off of 1950s uh, creature features, basically. Nice. We're excited for that one, but uh, nice. you can find like all the information on indie horror films from acro star mm-hmm. films on facebook it's a okay. group um if anybody wants to join it uh okay. our producer would be more than happy to let you join awesome awesome that'd be great um so they i'm assuming they can find the indiegogo crowdfunding campaign there for all the projects yeah yeah awesome Awesome. That's great. And anybody that wants to uh, donate, uh, please do. And if you can't donate, because I get it, times are tough. Gas yes, prices are agreed. soaring through the roof. So I get that. So uh, if you can donate, that's fine. But it doesn't cost anything to share. So remember, sharing is caring. So uh, definitely share yes. the uh, Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. And uh, your one share might lead to other people saying, oh, I really like this project. Yeah. I would like to be a part of it in some way, shape or form and they might donate. So uh, definitely uh, share the project if you can. Um, and I know you did talk about a couple of other projects you got going on, um, but that is my last question. Basically for you to promote yourself, any other projects you want to promote, films, uh, social media accounts, websites, or anything else to the listening um, yeah. and viewing audience. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I mostly like post any other projects I'm working mm-hmm. on on my Instagram, which is okay. at Maggie Delena. Um, spelled M-A-G-G-I-E-D-A-L-E-N-A with okay. three A's. Okay. Um, but my TikTok is the same as that as well. Um, okay. but yeah, any updates on anything I'm doing is going to be on there. Awesome. Sounds great. Well, I thank you so much for joining me this evening. Yeah, thank you so much for having yeah, me. Not a problem. Thank you for, uh, you know, I have no problem squeezing you in, but thank you for the short notice of uh, of joining me today because we were supposed yeah. to be last night and I was like, well, can you do it tomorrow? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, notice, no, we I wasn't doing so anything today. I had the day awesome. off, so. <laughs> awesome, perfect. That's, that's even better. Having an off day. I like the off days. Yes, me too. All right, well, you have a great rest of your night. You too. Have a nice trip back. Thank you so much, and bye. Bye.